A new year, a pandemic, a change in life. There's so many reasons you may want to change your career or grow your business. And a mentor, of course, can really help out with that. January is Mentorship Month, but how do you build or create a mentor relationship? Business coach and author Jason Dries is here to help us mentor along through this, uh, navigate through this here. Jason, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, uh, thanks for the invitation, Eric. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about uh, the benefits of mentorship. I mean, there's got to be a benefit, right, for the, the mentor and the mentee, I would think, right? Absolutely, right? For the mentee, it really allows us to get more done in less time, right? Because mentors are experts typically in something you want to do. So learning from their strategy can save you time and make things happen faster. As, a, as the actual mentor, it's also a powerful experience as well, because when you actually take the time to slow down and help and, and contribute back, it creates an opportunity for reflection. And that really helps us really grow and expand even more in the future. How do you make that connection? Um, is it just people that may be friends of yours already, or do you actively go out there and, and, and seek that mentorship? Well, that's a good question, you know, because when we think about mentors, we think like, okay, I need to follow, I need to get the guy who's got 10 million Instagram followers, right? But the, the reality is anybody who's done something you want to do can be a mentor and mentors are all around you. So the number one way to, to, to start finding a mentor is to simply engage in your community. And, and you may have multiple mentors because one mentor may be very skilled at one specific thing. So most people don't realize they're all around us. Does that change if you're looking for, say, like a new career? A lot of people have left their their uh, their jobs for new opportunities. You've you've heard, you you no doubt are familiar with the great resignation that's happening here. Yeah. Um, so so where can these people go um, to help find a mentor that can help them with this new career adventure? Yeah, if you're you know if you're in a small business, you know there's a chamber of commerce is a great way. Um, you can also go to meetups or networking events. If you're at a higher level of income and performance, there's networking groups you can pay to be a part of, like GoBundance is one I'm actually actively a member of. Uh, my company has a mentor group as well. So there's really communities all over the place to join where you can find mentors. And if you're growing your business, does that change at all? Is there other paths and avenues and places where, the, where, where a business owner that wants to expand um, should be going out and looking for uh, some mentorship? Yeah, you know, again, I'm I'm part of a program called GoBundance because it puts me in a in a peer group with other people at my level who own businesses as well. But I would say business owners, if you're not at a high enough level of income, you know, if you're not over a few million dollars in income, the best place to go is your local chamber of commerce. That is one of the places I started when my business first started growing, and there's a ton of opportunities for mentors in there. I know you've written some uh, books on this topic too, uh, very helpful, um, and you got a, a new one that's out. Uh, talk about that a little bit and explain um, what we can learn from that. Yeah, so my book is called Do the Impossible. And one thing I've, I've learned um, as I grew my business 10X two years ago and tripled it last year is that we are capable of pretty much doing anything in the next moment, but most people are limited based on their past or based on their expectations. And what the book talks about is becoming open so we can start playing life at a much higher level so we can change our jobs, change our income, change our, our life situation, because anything is possible next, but most people just don't operate in that space. That's part of this too, is the mindset you have, right? Being uh, positive, Absolutely. optimistic, and um, not closing any doors. I mean, talk about that, the, 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 uh, the mindset people need to have if they want to grow and they want to expand. Well, that's fantastic. That's the big piece, right? Because what we don't realize is that we are creating our reality. Like you, if you have wake up and you have happy thoughts, you're going to have a happy day. If you wake up and have fat, sad thoughts, you're going to have a sad day. And what we don't realize is that we're literally recreating our limitations over and over and over again. When you start to understand how to shift your mindset, which is really like your expectations, you actually start thinking differently and you start taking different actions and you start getting different results. But so it all comes down to mindset. A lot of times um, people's career success is blocked by their own doing, right? It's not necessarily all the hurdles or the speed bumps along the way. How, how are we blocking our own career paths? Well, that's a, that's a fantastic question because in the next moment, I, I say this over and over again, in the next moment, anything is possible. Right. But what human beings do, 98% of the population, what they're gonna do next is a repeat of what they just did. Hmm. And, what, and the biggest place that most people struggle is that when they set goals for the new year, 
they're setting them based on the past, right? Like, what did I do? What do I want is a goal based on last year, mm -hmm. instead of asking themselves what is impossible, or what is it or what is possible or what is impossible. So really, thinking bigger will start to push you. But the challenge that people run into, as you start to think bigger, any part of your past that's not in alignment with that comes up for integration. So you've got to do the personal growth to expand. And that's where a lot of people get stuck. All good things to keep in mind, especially with the start of the new year here. Jason, where can people learn more about your book and more about you? You can find my book on Amazon. It's uh, taking pre-orders now and it's, it will ship on April 12th. And you can also find me at jasondreescoaching.com. There's also some free content there that can people dive in and learn about changing their mindset. Really helpful stuff. Jason, thanks for your time here this morning. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Eric.